Yo, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR. So in this video, I'm going to do an overview of the PlayStation 5's new UI. So PlayStation released a video kind of going over the UI, but I never really watched the video. Uh, I just looked at it real quick to see what, you know, just to see what it looked like, but I didn't watch the video. I kind of wanted to just explore it myself. Now, I'm not one of those people who's really like a stickler for UIs. I saw some people saying the UI's trash or the UI's great. I'm kind of, I'm indifferent about UIs. The only thing, I only care about UIs, there's, there's two things. I just care that it's not laggy and that it's not super hard to find things. As long as I get those two things, I don't really care about the aesthetics of, of, of things, right? I don't really care about how it looks. As long as it's not slow and laggy and it's not really, really hard to find things, I don't really care. So this is, yeah, this is pretty much gonna be my first time just going through it. Uh, I did the initial boot and everything like that, but I haven't changed up any settings. I just did the initial boot and, and chose what settings I wanted from there, but there may be some other things that I want to choose. So let's just uh, go through it. I don't even know really where to start. So this is the this is the basic, uh, the, the, the main screen. Um, the tabs at the top, you got games, then you got media. Uh, the initial boot gave you some choices to download some apps and stuff. I chose not to download anything. I don't use apps on my consoles. I literally only play games, so um, I will probably never go to the media app for anything ever. So going back to the games tab, uh, we got the PlayStation Store, Exploration, I got Miles Morales, um, Spider-Man Miles Morales downloaded, and uh, Spider-Man Remastered on these tiles, and of course Astro Playroom comes uh, with, the, with the PlayStation 5, there's PlayStation Plus, PlayStation Now, Media Gallery, Share Factory uh remote play and games library so yeah i'm gonna actually go and go ahead and delete this because i'm never gonna use that i used it once on a playstation 4 just to try out like what it's like um you can't delete any of these these are like permanent tabs it's playstation now i don't really use that so yeah that's the the tiles that are there at the main screen right so you can uh just access those from there um let me go to the settings. So that's just the, you know, the user guide and everything like that, accessibility. So these are the accessibility settings. The only thing I did do is I turned off uh, the screen reader. Yeah, I went here and turned off the screen reader because if you have it on, um, as you scroll, it will read out everything to you. So I turned that off, obviously I don't need that. Um, but those are for settings for people with disabilities and everything like that. There's invert colors, color correction, text size, bold text, high contrast, uh, auto scroll speed and reduce motion. Uh, so yeah, then there's the screen reader, speech, speech speed, voice type, voice volume, um, controllers. This is where you can customize, you know, the buttons, uh, PlayStation, PlayStation 4 had this. So I'm actually, what I'm actually gonna do, and I did this on PlayStation 4, is I I like to shoot, oh man, see, but actually I'm gonna leave it alone. Cause typically I like to shoot with L1 and, and R1, but I need to try out the buttons as they are with the haptic feedbacks and the, and you know, the, the triggers and everything like that. So actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Vibration intensity, you can customize how strong it is. Yeah, I'm gonna leave those alone. Closed captions, chat transcript, yeah. Network, um, yeah, that, that is self-explanatory, just the network settings. Users and accounts. This is, of course, your basic information, email address, security, payment and subscriptions. Uh, I, is it, is, wait, I think, yeah, I think the same, yeah, all the stuff from your PS4, it's 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 all in your account. So when you sign in, all of that stuff is, is still there with the PS5. Privacy settings, uh, you can link with uh, some other services. I'll probably link with Twitter and, and Twitch later and use, oh, it's already linked. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's the same. They just transfer over all the settings. Other, Login settings, login to PlayStation 5 automatically. Yeah, 
I don't know why, but last generation I used to set a passcode. Um, like on my PS4. I don't know why. I really don't need to, so I'm going to leave that alone. Users, I'm the only user, of course. Family and parental controls. Self-explanatory, I don't really got to get into that. System settings. Typical system settings that you expect. The only thing I don't like about these on-off um, tabs is, like, when I, when I first tried to hook up my recording device to the PlayStation 5, it wasn't picking up, and it was because I had uh, HDCP enabled, right? But I couldn't, I actually thought it was off because it looked great, it looked grayed out. Now it's off, but that's how something looks when it's on. And you, I'm used to things like going from like gray to like green when you turn it on. So I wish they would like switch the color on some of these when it's actually on versus off because like, it, you know, it's kind of like gray and transparent. You know, it doesn't even actually look like it's turned off or on. It's like hard, it's not like a big difference. So that's one thing I do think they need to, uh, you know, color implement. Language, date and time. Uh, yep, everything there's right, nothing, nothing to change. Remote play, I don't use that. Power saving. Um, uh, let's do 30 minutes. Uh, while I'm playing, uh, yeah, an hour's fine. Web browser, it doesn't have a web browser right now, right? I heard it doesn't have a web browser right now, so that must be coming later. Um, I was just in system, so let's go to storage. So, after I download Sp Spider-Man Miles Morales and Spider-Man Remaster, I have... Uh, 491 gigs available, which is not an issue for me because once again, I delete my game. So storage has never, ever been an issue for me. I only play two games at a time, max three maybe, but that's very rare. So yeah, storage is not a problem for me. Um, input device, microphone on the controller. Uh, I, I think USB mics um, works work with the PlayStation 5 just as they did with the PS4. Probably like most USB mics would work. Um, yo, yo, check. Yep, it picks up my controller mic. Audio output. Yeah, this is all the audio settings. I think I might need to change this to something else, but I'll fix that later. Because right now I'm using the Astro A40s and I had to, they had to send out adapters. They had to send out adapters to people so they could uh, properly use it with the PlayStation 5. Screen and video. Uh, yeah, so I'm at, I'm at 4K at 60 hertz. This gives you all the information you need. Uh, HDR is... Ooh, HDR is on. I actually might have needed to turn that off because this video may appear... Oh, no, actually, I'm fine. Yeah, this I'm, I'm going to be fine because if you don't have an HDR video, uh, if you don't have HDR on, then this video might look washed out to you. But uh, if you have it, if you turn it on, then it'll look fine. So where was I? So yeah, just HDR, this is automatic. Accessories, Bluetooth accessories, wireless controller, so we'll turn them off. Media remote, keyboard, mouse, for the camera. Save data, the save data for PS4 and PS5 to cloud, cloud stuff. Oh, the game presets. Let's, yeah, I'm gonna put everything to hardest. Um, performance. What is this? First person view. Oh, okay. Yeah, normal, normal. Normal, normal, because I'm not a weirdo. I like subtitles on. 
you know, same as console. So those are nice presets to have. Um, okay, yeah, so that's on. Some, like I said, sometimes it's hard to tell that if that's on or not. Spoiler warnings, warn about spoilers. Uh, I don't, spoilers don't really bother me, but I'll keep that on. Wait, what is this? Game status sync with your play. Sync your game status and trophies with PlayStation Network. Oh, I don't need to do it right now. Notifications. <sighs> All right. Um, allow pop-up notifications. Yeah, I need to customize what exactly. Display time. Yeah. Uh, when your friends go online. Yeah. Yeah. Game notifications. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, so you can like choose to turn them on depending on what you're doing during games, videos, broadcast. Uh, so yeah, I could leave those. I could leave those off for now. Leave those how they are. Captures and broadcast. So captures. Choose a resolution for new recordings that you manually start. This doesn't. Yeah, we won't put that to 4K. Um, even though I probably really won't use this stuff. This is for broadcast, so yeah, PS PlayStation 5 caps out at 1080p at 60. Xbox can do 4K, but like I said, either way, I use a capture card. So none of this stuff really matters to me. It's for the broadcast, these are the broadcast settings and everything like that. Save trophy screenshots, yes. Save trophy videos, yes. Video trophy duration, make that 30. Uh, and those are the settings. Listen, uh, and what else? Uh, so you go down. I mean, th th there's really not that much to explore, I guess. I mean, okay, th this is the PlayStation Store. I like that you don't actually have to click on the PlayStation. Remember, like on PS4, you click on the PlayStation Store, it takes you to the PlayStation Store. This one, it just goes like directly right into it. It's it's just like a tab. So I like that it's faster and more seamless. So now, I, like now, I'm lit this is literally the PlayStation Store. So yeah, that's cool to me. I don't have a problem with that. This seems very simplistic. I mean, I don't have a problem with this. Like I said, I'm not one of these weirdos who, you know, makes a big deal out of a UI. To me, a UI is one of the least important things in a console. It, you know, I, I spend minimal time in a UI. I spend all my time in games. So literally, I turn on my PlayStation, go straight to the game, or go straight to the store if I need to buy something. So, I mean, is that... That's, that's really all there is. I mean... I mean, there's more, like I said, when you click on, let me, let me, let me finish this download. Yeah. There's more, uh, tabs that come up when you, um, like when you go into these games, some trope, some activities, trending broadcasts. And as we saw, I think they showed in the PlayStation video, there were like different tabs that show when you when you're actually in a in in a game let me just click on miles morales real quick okay so oh okay so now i opened miles morales and when i hit the playstation home button now it brings up these big tiles, uh, which are some trophies, and and now like all the a whole bunch of other quick access um, tabs are down here: mic, sound, downloads, game base, notifications, power. From there, uh, you can customize this. It's like a taskbar. Yeah, it's pretty much a taskbar. 
This is the PlayStation's new, new uh, intro. That looks clean. That looks very clean. So, uh, I don't know if there's anything else I'm really forgetting to, like, um, look at, but you can go home from there. Yeah, this UI is completely fine to me. I don't have any issue with it, but I'm not, like, a connoisseur of, of UIs uh, that some people make themselves out to be. Uh, yeah, so, listen, that's, that's all there is. Let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button. Let me know what you think about the UI. All right. I'm out of here. Peace.